Hey, our company is Maple Advising Consulting Company, and our company intends to help the University of West Georgia increase the productivity of the advising department by focusing on the department's image, student involvement, and external communications. Maple Advising Consulting Company takes pride in our ability to effectively get to the root of an issue by focusing on what is causing an issue instead of listening to distracting noise. We rapidly pinpoint and correct issues regardless of how minute. We plan on encouraging student relations by becoming personable with the students. We also plan to become more involved with the students. Lastly, we want to promote external communications, which will help with exposure tremendously and increase student involvement. And in these key ways, we plan on making the University of West Georgia's advising department as great as it can be. Thanks, Nazir. Let me give you guys a little bit of background on our company. Maple Consulting began in 2010 as a group of students who felt that there was room for improvement in the advising center. They noticed that the communication technology was very primitive and can use an update to maximize the efficiency. The company has worked cooperatively with other universities such as Georgia Southern University and the University of Georgia, as well as other out-of-state colleges like Clemson and the University of Alabama. Since our humble beginnings in our early years at UWG, we have been gaining new knowledge and experience year after year about how we can further improve our strategies and techniques to help other universities' advising processes create a long-lasting bond between the student and his or her advisor. To speak about our next topic, here is Samuel to discuss why your university needs our help. What is the need for an advisement center? The first step for any student to succeed in school is starting off with the proper advisement as a freshman. We create specialized handbooks for every school to help advisors be the most efficient that they possibly can with their jobs. We clearly define procedures that help staff deliver consistent results across the board to all students no matter what major or what courses they are taking. The easier students are in and out with their advisement appointments will help how happy they are, which means a more positive experience, which means that they will be more likely to return and have better ease with advisement staff. Thank you, Samuel. Now for this part of the presentation, I will talk to you about the internal communication. The University of West Georgia as a whole has quite a few ways of communicating. However, the advising center mo almost exclusively communicates through email. This is the most prominent form of communication for this department, not just for internal communications, but for external as well. At Maple Advisement Consulting, We've gathered information and ideas by researching many other departments around the world. As an example, here is Florida State University. Florida State University has different ways of communicating with their students and staff. While they also communicate through email, there are many different ways that they, they advise you. They offer college life coaches who can assist incoming students by helping them with their transition to their university personal and career paths, supporting them in building necessary life skills that succeed at FSU, and recommend activities and resources that help students make the most of their college experience. For the next slide, I will continue speaking about the external communication. For this next slide, I'll be breaking down the external communication by using the SWOT analysis. Some of the strengths are the efficiency and frequency of the emails sent from this department to the external sources. This is what keeps the department afloat. Because email is just about the only form of communication, this department has developed a system of communication that works very well for them. However, this department, we, this department forces students and others to use email. Because of this, this could also be a weakness. Some of its opportunities could be that of social media. The threats, we believe that a lack of keeping up to date with new forms of communication may reflect badly on the school. For the next slide, Zara will be presenting you with recommendations. Thanks, Nick. We have many recommendations for your department. First off, to improve the image of your department, we believe that reaching out to your students and becoming personable with them will show that as a department, you care and are reliable. Also, if you were to improve your online features, it would allow the students to navigate easily when attempting to identify classes that they may need. And to increase your student involvement, we recommend increasing your social media. With an increase in social media, it will keep students more in the loop about your department. And to increase your external communications, 
we recommend doing meet and greets with new freshmen on campus. It will give them an idea that you will be there from start to finish in their college career. For the upperclassmen, we recommend holding advising events. With advising events, it will give upperclassmen a chance to get to know you if they missed out on that opportunity in their first few years. Working with Maple Advisement Consulting Firm will prove to be beneficial to your department. With the implementation of our recommendations, your department will stand out and have higher support throughout the University of West Georgia, amongst other departments. Our consultants on hand are very trustworthy, and we trust their confidence in providing you the best recommendations on improving your department. Our recommendations that we have provided for you are improving the image of your department, increasing the student involvement, and boosting your external communications. If you were to take in our recommendations, we guarantee you a boost in the number of student activity within your department. Now, if you have any questions, my colleagues and I would be more than happy to answer them for you. Hey, having a monthly student mixer based on the student's major would definitely increase student involvement by allowing students to meet others who are studying in the same field as them. It can also promote pairing, which can lead to students having accountability amongst themselves. And it also can give students who are struggling in their major the opportunity to meet other students that, are, that may be doing well so that they may also succeed. A great question. In any business, you would trust somebody that has a knowledge and experience of their craft and knows what it's like to deal with somebody who does not have those things. This company was born on that on those subpar experiences that each one of us faced when it came to the advising center. We all saw an opportunity to help them rebound. Our recommendations are from straight, are from firsthand experiences, and we want nothing more than to upgrade this process for current students and for future graduates to help them enjoy their time with their advisor. It will take lots of time and lots of effort to create or update an advisement staff, but in the long run, it is very much worth it. The university system will be very rewarded by having such an updated and proficient advisement staff. With such quick advisement times, students will be in and out, advisement staff will be happier, students will be happier, everything will run much smoother. But it is going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort, two months on the minimum. We at Maple Advisement Consulting are a very results driven team. We pride ourselves in the accomplishments of the clients we help. We enjoy watching our clients grow and look forward to any opportunity to help. Increasing social media presence will help increase your student and member involvement in the future because we are living in that time where social media has become everything. A college student will check their social media above all when they need to get certain information rather than asking someone else for it. So if you were to increase your social media, a student is more likely to check on it rather than emailing you or coming up and seeing you face to face right off the bat.